So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members and team of Speed to Dr. Vidushi Gupta for scoring rank number one in uh, MCH OBG group. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can you share uh, your brief uh, history of your medical career, where you started till date? Uh, sir, I belong to a medical family. I am a third generation doctor of my family. My grandfather was a doctor and it was always his dream to see me rise and uh, working on his shoes, on the path he laid. Uh, my parents both are doctors. My mother is a gynecologist. My father is a neurosurgeon. Both of them are based in Delhi. And uh, my brother is currently doing first year of MBBS. So Great. I have done my undergrad uh, from Ames Rishikesh. I was the founder batch there. And uh, after Ames Rishikesh, uh, I graduated in 2017. And I had to take a break for two years because I was not getting the stream of my choice and the college of my choice. So I joined uh, MS OBG at ESI Hospital Basai Dharapur in uh, 2020 during the COVID wave. And uh, I have just graduated in July this year. And uh, I was preparing for my MS final year exams. And uh, along that only I started preparing for MS, uh, for MCH. And it was like, I always wanted to do Onco. Before even I joined MS OBG, I wanted to do Onco. I was always uh, fascinated by the branch. So I had an inclination. So I used to keep on reading here and there through that. And uh, that has helped me a lot in this exam. Okay. So your preparation for MCH gynec oncology started when? How did you prepare? How much of time you were able to devote for that? I mean, what all you did? Can you share your experience? Uh, yes, sir. So actually, I used to uh, read whenever I used to come back from hospital. Like There was not much time to read. I was tired basically in the first two years because of COVID and COVID duties and all. But I used to try to read whatever I little bit was taught in the hospital or whatever cases I used to see, whatever management we were doing. So uh, pertinent to that, we used to uh, discuss in the hospital also with our uh, senior residents and I used to come back home and read. So, but that was not like uh, a proper formal preparation. It was just going through whatever is being talked about so that I remain oriented to the subject and I remain oriented to what is the reality and, you know, uh, how it should be done. Then uh, for my MS year, uh, final year exams, I started preparing in my third year. And along that only, I used to uh, prepare for my MCH also. Like I used to read my standard textbooks from the first year only. And uh, whatever textbook I used to read, I was just revising that only all the small, small highlighted portions. I was doing that side by side. So in my third year, I switched to reading guidelines also side by side. And I joined Speed in December, I guess, December 2022. And uh, But I couldn't give much time because of my duties in the hospital also. And I was doing self-study that time. Uh, so guidelines I started reading uh, from April onwards. I used to see the guideline-based video, Revati ma'am's videos. They were very helpful about the guidelines and how to approach reading a guideline and what is the latest thing going on. Like see endometrium guideline just came five days before my exam and uh, that was very helpful. So I was almost in touch. Even after my exams, I, was, I did not join my SR ship till now. I was preparing for SS. So after my results, I was preparing only for neat SS and uh, that is all. Great, doctor. Very, very brief uh, way that you described the way of preparation. I mean, were you able to practice some MCQs and giving tests and grant tests? How about your... Uh, sir, uh, the MCQs which come on the Telegram group every day, that I was very sincere with. That I used to do before sleeping every day. Matlab, that was a regular thing since December, the day I joined the Telegram group, I used to do the 10 MCQs and I was able to get all of them right mostly. One or two I was able to get wrong. Even if I had not read the subject, I was able to get them right. So that was a morale booster that even if I have not read something, I know something about it that I'm able to get it right. So that keeps you motivated. It is although only 10 MCQs, but that keeps you going. That just gives you a hope for another day that okay tomorrow also i will get all of them right and if you get something wrong then it gives you a topic to read that okay i should read about it that why i got that topic wrong so next time i was able to do that mcq correctly so these were like small small goals which i used yeah. to set yeah, for the myself very, the very idea of doing it is to motivate the student every day to keep that uh, attending them 
<laughs> and I used to put in Telegram group that, uh, you know, that today MCQs have not been put and all those things <laughs> I used to put that where are today's MCQs. So I have done that also. So that was uh, very helpful. So were you able to give a grand exam and to see, I mean, uh, mean where we uh, kind of stand? I mean, I mean is that yes, exercise? Yes, I gave three, three or four grand tests also. Uh, before INI in April, I gave INI based exams, two or three of them. And before NEET SS, uh, I gave two or three NEET based SS. Although I did could not appear on the dates they were put, but I used to appear for them sooner or later. And I was able to get around 135, 140 correct out of that. There were few errors there and there, which I used to report on the app that this is not correct. So I was, on an average, I was able to get 135. And I think this is uh, the number I got in the real exam also. So it is very indicative that where do you stand in your preparation? Right. Correct. So, uh, I mean, how you joined Speed? Who recommended you to? Uh, uh, sir, I don't remember exactly from, I was actually searching for uh, coaching institutes for NEET SS from the first year itself. Even before I had joined, I was looking for a coaching institute because I did not want to get misguided in the process. So I came across a couple of apps, but I really liked the pattern of speed and the faculty, Revithi Ma'am's a uh, few uh, snippets of videos I had seen on YouTube or somewhere. And I really liked her teaching style. She was very uh, connecting somehow. And I really liked her teaching style. So I joined Speed. Okay. Doctor, uh, what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of uh, MBA <coughs> and Oncology from OBG Group? So the message is, uh, from my personal experience, I was very lucky to have very supportive parents, very, very supportive family. And uh, my guide, my entire institute faculty was very, very supportive. And uh, I think the key point is to keep yourself motivated, to not lose your heart, to just keep on doing it. I mean, I didn't stop preparing after my uh, final year exams also. I took a break for 10-15 days maybe. It's just keep on going. The later you start, the more difficult it gets because all those things you start forgetting, which you are very, very basic. And also, uh, reproductive medicine part, I found a little tricky in the exam. Onco was definitely tough, but I feel it would have been tough for everybody. But in my hospital, I was working in an IVF unit and where there was a lot of IVF work, which helped me a lot. So I think all the reproductive medicine questions I was able to get right because I have seen all those things right there happening. And the guidelines part I used to cover from the speed app. So that really helps because in the exam, those questions are very, very tricky and tough. So not only reading the books, but attending your ward rounds, uh, doing your clinical postings right, understanding what is being done, understanding the basics of management is very important. There are very, very basic MBBS level questions also. So the preparation starts, the foundation is laid right in your MBBS and MS just adds on to it. So that is very important. I feel that you should not leave it in between. You should just keep on doing it. Doctor, this uh, rank number one, I mean, how is the feel to you and to your family right now? Because <laughs> this is one of the greatest achievements. It, it does not happen on every year or daily basis. Yes, it, it is a dream life. for my family. It was my grandfather's dream to see me here. Unfortunately, I lost him in COVID. Uh, it is my parents' dreams. They still, you know, have tears of ecstasy in their eyes. I also could not believe I was writing my DNB theory exam yesterday. And when I came out, I just saw that the result is out and I was in tears. I could not believe that I have done this. I knew that my paper went fine. I'll get something or the other. I mean, I thought that I'll get selected here or there. But this was like a dream come true. I'm still not able to believe that this has come true. Excellent, doctor. I mean, uh, we are really happy for you. And uh, I am really thankful to you, sir, for creating such a wonderful app where everything is available in small, small videos. Like even while traveling, there's small 20 minute videos, which you can watch. If you have longer time, you can watch a longer video. Even if you're short on time, you can just watch a, watch a short video and get done with it. So that keeps you in touch. I'm really thankful for creating such a wonderful app and for having Revati Ma'am as your faculty. She's really amazing. She will definitely feel happy after seeing this video. I spoke, I tried to speak to her. She was busy, but it was amazing to have her as a guide. Yeah. Yeah. She's such a, such a wonderful faculty and a wonderful human being as well. And she yes. does yes, a dedicated hard work for the students. Truly, truly. Sir. Thank you so much.
we once again we wish you on the part of uh, faculty team and uh, management of speed uh, to you and to your family members and all your friends and relatives uh, I mean a great career ahead and as a great career we're going to make it and you're going to inspire all of us and best wishes once again all the thank best you. thank you thank you sir best wishes to you doctor thank you thank you